if you want to be a great graphic designer, you got to get yourself some great tools. I've been fortunate enough to work really, really hard and get a lot of great tools. And not all of you guys have to get these all at once. It's taken me years and years to build. But today, I want to talk about the seven different gadgets that I think every graphic designer needs. done this video once before, you guys have probably seen that one. So today I wanted to give you a little bit of a twist, some new stuff that you didn't see. This is stuff that I'm gonna be using on a more regular basis. So let's get into graphic design gadget number one. All right, these right here are the blue light blockers. These things are awesome. You can order them on Amazon, a bunch of different places. I'm actually hoping to have a deal with the company I've been looking into uh, for some other blue light blockers, but these ones are really good. They protect your eyes from the blue light of these computers, your smartphone, whatever it is. And we need to be taking care of our eyes because our eyes are very, very precious and we only have one set. Some people will say you can go get glasses and LASIK, all that. Anything you can do to give your eyes a, a break from this blue light all day long, like some people, 16, 18, 20 hour days, like I used to work, that's a lot of exposure. I've already had issues with light and I'm sure it's because of maybe these lights, these camera lights, but I know it's because of my smartphone and because of my computer, but I, I'm trying to wear these as much as possible. So this is the first gadget I wanted to make sure you guys knew about. Gadget number two is these SSDs. Now what I'll say about this is there's different styles, different sizes you can pick from. You're gonna be in the $100, $150 range. I'm a Samsung fan. When I find a brand that I like that's reliable, that's trustworthy, as you can tell, I bought a lot of these drives. I even have uh, one more, I believe. But these drives are very, very fast. Even from the original T5 that I think I have here. Yeah, this is the T5 all the way up to the T7. The write speed of these things is insane. When you get to the T7, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time on that transfer speed if you're backing your things up. And that data that you're backing up is worth tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you really gotta think about that this is a worthwhile investment. You got to have something like cloud storage, but you need to have a backup as well, just because you just never know. You got to have backup of your backup. It's really important because this valuable information that you've created, whether it's a website, whether it's a graphic design piece, a logo, a brand, or a video, it's, it's impossible to replace that stuff. Having to start all over is a nightmare. Trust me, I've had to do it a few times. So this is an imperative gadget I think everybody's got to have is a backup solid state drive. The traditional drives, the one that have the spinning discs inside of them, those are okay, but I've had a lot of issues with dropping them and then them not working. And so I like to go with the SSDs. They're safer and uh, they're super fast for the right speed. All right, so let's get into graphic design gadget number three, which is these JBL 225. Um, I think they're like TSWs, but they're very, very nice. You can get them on sale on Target online right now. You can look them up. Uh, I was looking around because I had the Samsung Buds before and I dropped one of them on the ground and it broke, stopped working and I was like, man, I need to get something else, but I don't want to buy the $200 set or $150 set of the ear pods. So I decided to try these out instead and the bass, the sound quality of all these are amazing and I found out today they actually have up to 25 hours of playtime and I think like five hours all, all at once. So that's a lot of time and these things have like a little nice little charging case. They come out and they fit in your ears nicely. They don't go in your ear hole, which I just, I'm not a fan of. They fit kind of like the, the Samsung ones, or I mean the uh, Apple ones. So these are really, really good earbuds. I highly recommend them. That's why I'm putting them on the list. Got to have some good music to get into that flow state, to get your head focused. Focus is a powerful tool, and this is a powerful tool to help you get focused and get into that creative flow state. Whether it's meditation music, some funk music, some jazz music, whatever your, your personality type, you pick, but I know you know what I'm talking about. When you have good sound quality, you have something to hold your attention, this is a very, very valuable gadget for you. Graphic design gadget number four is the iPad Pro or just a tablet. It could be the Surface Pro 2 like my guy Brian has, uh, but having a tablet for yourself on the go, I talked about this in my last video of, about the iPad, but I didn't have the pen and I had made a comment about how the pen was cheap uh, and that was a mistake because I got a bunch of comments from you guys, but. Uh, I'm actually good. I'm glad because I ended up investing in this thing and it was like, I think a hundred bucks or 120 bucks, something like that, but it's a valuable tool. And if you're going to have an iPad for drawing, this is the way to go. Um, I really, really like it a lot, but a tablet allows you to do design on the go. And there's a lot of apps for these things nowadays that you can really do anything from social media graphics to Photoshop, Illustrator, all these different apps, even photo editing and video editing. 
totally set up on the iPad Pro. So it's basically become a computer and the charging time, uh, the amount of battery life that each of these have is absolutely amazing. So I really highly recommend check out one of these tablets. The Surface Pro 2 is a really great device. Um, I have only been on the, I would say, Apple world for about five, six years now. And I don't think I'll ever make the switch back. I just like the quality, the ease, the simplicity of the platforms, but this is why I wanted to recommend specifically this tablet, the iPad Pro. Uh, it's a very beautiful one, and they even make it with like a magic keyboard. It's a few hundred dollars more. Uh, again, not that cheap, but it's a valuable tool to have and allows you to get more flexibility than this one here. Graphic design gadget number five is the Loop Deck. Now, I don't have one here personally, but we'll put some up on the screen here. It is actual graphic console, graphic and video editing console that allows you to adjust the exposure, the contrast. It's a very, very good production tool, allows you to speed up your workflow. There's a lot of amazing benefits to having one of these. Speeding up your time and saving yourself, cutting projects down in half, what is that worth to you? If you can do a project that would normally take 10 hours and half the time, and you're making 150, 200 bucks an hour, right? That's a lot of money in your pocket. So being able to buy and invest into a tool like that, that has a lot of the editing presets, layouts, all these cool things and functions. Go check out the Loop Deck, L-O-U-P-E deck.com. Uh, I'm gonna buy one myself. I'm actually kind of in conversations right now trying to work out a deal. Hopefully we'll see if that works out, but the Loop Deck is a really great graphics console that I would use to save yourself time, to make the job easier for you, your video editors, we're probably gonna get one and that's gonna be Ian's. And number six, is a phone. Now this is my most valuable tool that I have, honestly, from text messaging to phone calls to social media, right? This thing is my money maker. Investing in a good quality phone that's fast, that has a good camera, you see this here. The reason why I'm putting this on the list and if you wanna compare this to the brand new iPhone, if you're an iPhone person, I just happen to like Samsung a lot for their phones. I've had a lot of good success. I didn't have success with iPhones, unfortunately. But the difference is, is look at this camera on here. I've taken pictures of the moon that would blow your mind. This is an amazing camera. Uh, it's got like eight lenses, five lenses, I don't even know. It's got like five or six lenses on this thing and it shoots 8K video. So I could literally run this entire YouTube channel if I really wanted to from my phone. I could get a little tripod here above my camera, plug it into my computer. There's all kinds of cool stuff that I could do here, but having a good quality phone for photos and for editing and communication and actually dialing for dollars and making money, you gotta invest in a good phone. If you don't have a good cell phone, this is one of the areas I would tell you to focus on right away. Because it's not that expensive in the big picture of things, especially since you can finance them. So the last graphic design gadget is something I'm actually really excited to talk about because last video that we made, I think it was November of last year, I talked about getting an iMac. Now I had my laptop at the time, which was a great, I had the MacBook Pro, but I remember saying in that video that I was gonna get myself an iMac and Ian. Well, here we are just a year later. Not only do I have the 5K brand new, almost brand new iMac, but also Ian has one as well. We both have the 5K and we're using these. This thing has like 72 gigs of RAM in it. It's got a eight gig or eight core uh, processor. It's just a, it's a powerhouse. And this is something that I've worked really hard for many, many years to attain. And I was just able to attain this. And it's because of the support that I've had of my team for people like you that are watching these videos. And this is just a kind of signifies a big moment in my life and my career, especially after just hitting 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna to continue to work hard for you, bring you the best content that we can and just continue to show you cool stuff like this. So last year, we didn't have a community. And since then, because of the 10,000 subscribers and everything that we've been doing, we now have the Instagraphics Pro Network. So I wanna personally invite you to join us in that community. It's the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. We're actually gonna have its own platform here very, very soon. We're actively working on that. I can't show it to you yet, but it's really exciting. We're gonna have content. We're gonna have all kinds of really great stuff inside of this platform, networking, awards, all kinds of awesome content for you. So I want to invite you to that. If you haven't been there yet, go check it out on Facebook. It's a private group. Make sure you answer all the questions on there or we won't let you in. I'll send you a message if you don't answer them all, give you another opportunity, but I need to make sure that I have all the information I need to help you guys at my best. So thank you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And until then, I'm Adrian Boisel and keep looking up.